graph uh, y is equal to x times x minus 2 and y is equal to x minus 1 times x minus 3 plus 4 on the same grid. Explain how this graph is x y times x uh, y is equal to x times x minus 2 is different from this the second graph. So let's <coughs> Uh, I want to use a method called completing the square method. Okay, so completing the square method. Now, if you use this method, you can write any quadratic equation in a vertex form, completing the square. Okay, so let me first explain completing the square method. Okay, so let me start with a different question. Suppose if we have a graph like, suppose, an equation like this y is equal to x squared minus 2x uh, plus 6. Okay, so here <clears throat> if you want to write this in a uh, vertex form, so we write what we do is y is equal to, I want to make this a com perfect square, okay, and this is called completing the square. The strategy is you half this number, which is the coefficient of x, and then you square it. So if you half of half of negative 2 is negative 1 and then square it, that's going to be plus 1. So this is x squared minus 2x plus 1. And I got a 6 here. So what should I write here? I should write a 5. So this becomes a complete square or a perfect square. So, so y is equal to x minus 1 the whole squared plus 5. Now this, if you just want to understand backwards, if you expand this, you're going to get this. And if you simplify this, you're going to get this. So this form tells me the vertex form. So let me write the vertex form of a parabola or a quadratic equation. It is a times x minus xv, x minus xv plus yv. So this is the coordinate of the vertex. So the vertex in this equation, the vertex, the coordinate of the vertex is xv comma yv. Okay, so comparing this equation with this, I can say, I can say a is 1. So it is a basic parabola of y is equal to x squared. And your xv is 1, comparing this with this, so I can say xv is 1 and yv is 5, yv is 5. So <clears throat> if you want to graph this equation, if you want to graph this equation, the vertex is 1 comma 5. Okay, and now it's, an, it's a positive uh, quadratic equation, so it's going to open up. So it's going to look somewhat like this. So this will be one point and this will be the other point. So the parabola would look somewhat like this. Okay, <clears throat> so this was just a preview. So let me uh, do the next question. Okay, so the actual question. So yeah, we want to graph both these equations. So first let's start with y is equal to x times x minus 2. So if we expand this out, if you open the bracket, y is equal to x squared minus 2x. Now I want to make it a complete square. So as I discussed earlier, you half this number, which is negative 2, half of negative 2 is negative 1, and square it, which is plus 1. And then you don't have a plus 1 here, so I will take away 1. So this becomes a perfect square of y is equal to x minus 1, the whole squared, minus 1. So from this, I can directly say the vertex, comparing with the formula, is this, the vertex is 1 comma negative 1. Okay, so let me plot that point. So 1 comma negative 1 is this point. Okay. And so the vertex is 1 comma 1, 1 comma negative 1, and then we need to find some other points. So what will be the y-intercept here? 
So this is the vertex. This is the vertex. Let's find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, you get the y-intercept. So if you put 0 here, so you can say y is equal to 0 times 0 minus 2. So which is 0 times negative 2. So 0 times anything is going to be 0. So your y-intercept is 0, 0. So this point is a y-intercept. Now this is a line of symmetry. Suppose you could draw the line of symmetry. This is a line of symmetry. So using symmetry, if you got one point here, to, this is one to the left, so you'll have one point here, which is one to the right. Okay, and then you can draw the graph. The graph would look somewhat like this. So this is the graph of the first equation. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll pause the video. I, I, I want to rub this off. I want you to graph the second equation yourself. Hopefully you've done the next equation. So let's write the second equation. So the second equation is y times x minus 1 times x minus 3 plus 4. So again, you can pause it if you haven't done this. You have to expand this out and simplify. So if you expand this out, I'll directly write the answer. This will be x squared minus 4x plus 3 plus 4. So this will become y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 7. Now to write in the vertex form you have to just look at these two. I want to make it a perfect square. So y is equal to x squared minus 4x and then you have to half this number which is negative 2 and then square it which is 4 and I got a 7 here so I should write 3 here so can you see this is 4 plus 3 is 7 and this becomes a perfect square of y is equal to x minus 2 the whole squared so this gives me the vertex so let me write the vertex form the vertex form is like this y is equal to a times x minus xv the whole squared plus yv. So you can compare the vertex x coordinate of the vertex as 2 and the y coordinate is 3. Okay, so we can say the vertex is going to be 2 comma 3. This is very interesting. The lowest point, because this is again an up, up, upwards opening parabola. So here, this parabola, let me use a different color. So 2 comma 3 is here. 2 comma 3 is here. And let me draw the line of symmetry here. So this means this is the lowest point. Or let me talk. You cannot have a value of y which is less than 3. If this is the lowest point, y, if you think about it in a different way, let's think about this. Now this is x minus 2 is a number and if you square any number that's always going to be positive so your y value you can see your y value is always going to be greater than or equal to 3 or 3 is the lowest value of this equation you can't have a y value which is less than 3 so what does that mean this means this implies or this means there is no x intercept this graph is never going to cut the x-axis at any point because this graph, the minimum value of y, is going to be only 3. So the parabola is going to go up like this. Okay. So if you put, so let me show you the y-intercept. You can find the y-intercept. So y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So your y is going to be, if you put 0 here, so this will be negative 1 times negative 3 plus 4. So your y-intercept is going to be 7. 
Okay, so this point, zero comma, so let me use this color. So this is your y-intercept. Okay, and so using symmetry, if you've got two, this point is two to the left, so you have a point two to the right. This point would be a graph, would be a point on this graph. So the graph would look like this. Okay, now you have to compare or con say the difference between these two graphs. So basically, these two are the same graph. This graph and this graph looks different, but they are the same graph. So basically, this graph has gone, this graph has gone one to the right and three up. So if you want to write that as a vector form, this parabola, this, if you look at only the vertex, this point has gone one to the right and one, two, three, four to the right. So you can write this in the vector form. This is two comma four. So you can say these two are the same graph. The transformation is this graph has gone. So let's look at this point. At this point, uh, two, if you go two up, if you go two to the right and four up, so one, two, one, two, three, this point, okay, so this point has gone one to the right, sorry, this point has not gone two to the right, it has gone one to the right, and one, two, three, four, so the transformation is one comma four. So if you want to plot the other points, if you just want, so this point has, will go one to the right and four up. Okay, if you go one to the right, one, two, three, four. So this has to pass through this point. My graphing is not right. So let me graph this properly. So this point is right. So this is, so this point has gone one to the right, has to go one to the right and four up. So one to the right and four up. One, two, three, four. So this is a point. So using symmetry, you have a point here, exactly here. This point will go one to the right and four up. Okay, so let me draw it better. Okay, so let me plot all the points. So if you go one to the right and four up, one, two, three, four. So this is the vertex, which we saw is two comma three. This point will go one to the right and four up. We'll check these points. One, two, three, four. This point will go one to the right and four up. So one to the right, one, two, three, four. So this is this point. Okay, and this point and this point is symmetrical. So let's confirm this on a calculator. So the graph would look somewhat like this. Okay, no, I have done it again wrong. This point has to go two to the right. Always good to check two to the right. So the graph would go like this, and this will go up. Okay, so this point, so let's check these points. So this is zero comma seven. This is two comma three. And uh, this point is, one comma four, this is one comma four, and this is how much, four comma seven. So this is the graph of the second equation. So let's get the calculator out. So let me drag this to this side. So go to graph. Okay, go to light me slightly. Okay, go to graph and type in this equation, which was bracket x minus 1, close the bracket, x minus 3 plus 4. Okay, so we need to make it a scale bigger. So G solve, make it 10 by 10. Okay, so let's confirm the minimum. This is the minimum, so G solve and minimum. So this is 2 comma 3. G solve, and then you can check Y calc when x is zero. When x is zero, y is seven. Again, g solve, y calc. When x is four, y should be seven. 
And this point, when x is 1, y should be 4, g solve y calc when x is 1, y is 4. Okay, so again, you can suppose using symmetry, this point is 1 to the left, so you have a point here. This point is 3, comma 4. So basically, these two are the same graph. This graph has gone 1 to the right and 4 up. 